Hello, welcome to the Rich and Simple Living. My name's Maria, and if you're new here, I vlog normally food-related things. Sometimes it's a bit different, but today it's going to be food-related. I'm going to make some biscuits, and I'm going to do them in the air fryer. Now, I'm going to do a rich biscuit, but I'm putting an adaption to it. I'm going to put coconut in it to make it a rich coconut biscuit. Now, I'm following the basic rich biscuit method, and also you can use it that same method, get my words out, use the same method to make a Shrewsbury biscuit, which is by adding currants. But I'm going to add some um, coconut, forgot what I was adding then, some coconut. Because it's all about adapting to what you've got, so I've got plenty of coconut. <laughs> so I'll turn you around a little bit and I'm going to bring you down and um, show you what I'm doing. Let's just... I'm just, I apologise for noise outside if you can hear it because Dean's mowing the lawn and he's right under the window. So if you wonder what the noise is, it's Dean. <laughs> Tell you that before I start so you'll think, what's that noise? <laughs> so I've got four ounces of margarine in here. Can you use butter or margarine. I'm going to drop in four ounces of sugar. I'm going to just melt that together a bit mix it together a little bit here we are soon does i'm using um this iceland buttery it's called margarine or spread as they call it and you know it's so soft it's unnaturally soft really <laughs> so that's four of the sugar and four of the margarine so then it's eight ounces of self-raising flour so we're going to mix that with it can you see all right i forget to turn it to you <laughs> so we'll mix all that in Now, the recipe does say with a rich biscuit that you can add lemon juice or milk. Well, if you need to make, um, you know, it a bit looser. Obviously, we're going to put an egg in yet and we'll see what that's like. But I'm going to put milk in if I do need to make it looser because I've got no lemon juice anyway. And plus, because I'm using coconut, I think if I need to add anything extra to loosen it a bit, it would be milk. So... That's all mixed in, I think. Just make sure all the flour is mixed in well with the margarine and the sugar so we haven't got any clumps of flour anywhere. There we go. Right. I'm going to pop in one beaten egg. And I'm also going to put a drop of vanilla essence in. There we are, plenty of it. <laughs> I love the taste of vanilla. Right, we'll mix that all around and we'll see then whether it does need any milk adding to it. That's the trouble. When I have to add um, liquid to anything, I get a bit carried away and it can end up too runny. Then I end up having to compensate by putting extra flour in. So I'll be careful. How much you put in? This is quite stiff, but I have got to roll it out, so it's got to be reasonably stiff. I think actually that would be stiff enough. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add a bit of coconut to the mix. Now, when it says you can use this recipe and make it into a shrews biscuit and add your two ounces of currants or raisins i think let me just check i've got the book behind us currants so you can add two ounces of currants so i suppose i could add two ounces of this but i'm not going to measure it i'm just going to sprinkle it in to see what i think so we'll just do that you often find me doing that i just add things in never measure it <laughs> You sort of know by sight, don't you, really? When you do things, 
and you know you sort of go by sight now this is quite a runny mix actually not runny runny that it would spill out but you know it's not like a dough ball where I can um, where I can sort of um, roll it that's what I'm looking for <laughs> See, that's quite runny so I may have to put a bit of extra flour in there I might actually add a bit extra coconut in as well we'll mix that in behind see it's quite runny this could be down to the fact that um, that margarine is very very soft margarine very soft in fact when I was putting it in, the spoon just went straight through it and uh, it was like it was just going to go to liquid. I mean, that's strange for margarine. No wonder it's only a pound. <laughs> Put some more of it. Oh, goodness. I think that was too much. Just hold it this end. That's it. Keep it away from that. <laughs> This is what happens when I add extras of anything, we sort of go a bit crazy with it. So I'll take a bit of this, pop it on here. And you know what I'm going to do? Just pop it on there. I'm going to add a little bit of this over. Can you see it? It's very difficult to get you to see everything. There we go. Kitchen's so small. I'm just going to put a bit of that in with the flour. So it's quite, it's soft. Right. Put that in there. I'm not sure because I've not um, made it like this before. I'm not sure, well, not that I can remember in many a year. I'm not sure how loose it should be. I think it, I would prefer it a bit stiffer than this, but I think it's the margarine. But I am going to make some plain ones after without the coconut in. And uh, I'm going to make some plain ones without the coconut. So what I'll probably do then is use butter. I've took some butter out of the fridge and I'll probably use butter and I'll see the difference between the two sort of dough balls to speak, although it's not dough is it? <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> anyway, before I roll that out, I'm going to tidy some of this away a bit or move it aside and get my hands washed and get the air fryer out and then we'll roll it out and we'll cut it and we'll see how it goes. So I'll be back in a moment. Okay, I've tidied up a little bit. I've preheated the air fryer, so I'm going to just take that out, bring it down. I'm going to pop one of these... Um, call them non-stick sheet things in <laughs> move up a little bit see if we can get you in this is the trouble there we go right so I'm going to roll this out and got to put a bit of flour actually on the rolling pin there we go it's very doughy see how it's sticking there a bit more flour to it. Right. I'll probably have to get a spatula to lift it off from underneath. No, I don't want to roll it too thin. I think we'll leave it at that. We'll see how that goes. Shut off the side there. Right then, we'll get the cutter. I think actually, like I say, I'm going to get a spatula thing just to lift them in because they're going to stick, I reckon. Just, just dip that 
a flower. Okay. Right. Now, <laughs> see if we can get them off. Put a little bit of flour on top of his spatula, rub it in a bit. in there I don't know maybe I'd be better bringing you up here actually see if you can see I don't know can you see that it's the best we can do I think because we've just got no space in my kitchen this is very tricky I've never ever had a biscuit dough as runny as this before I don't know how on earth we're supposed to add milk or lemon in it. <laughs> Put some on. Flour on that. Very runny. Do the best we can. I think maybe actually it might have been good if I'd have split the egg beans. I'm going to do another plain batch. Maybe I'd have been better off with the egg mix, just doing half of it. But I think what I'm going to do with the next one is um, not put egg in. I might just put a drop of milk in place of the egg. Right. Bring it back across. That's as much as I dare put in there. <laughs> so we're going to put those into the air fryer and we'll see what they do. Oh, I have switched it on. <laughs> I always forget to switch it on. <laughs> Excuse the noise out there. Strimming, mowing. I think it's by the back door. Okay, so we'll switch it on. I'm going to air fry it. I'm going to go at 160. And I'm going to go for 13 minutes. Air fry, 160, 13 minutes. And away we go and we'll see what that does. I'm going to cut the rest of these out now and I'm going to make another dough mix. I'm going to make a plain one while they're cooking. And uh, like I say, I'm not going to put the egg in it this time. I'll just put a drop of milk in and I'm going to use butter. It should be a bit softer now that I can cut it. <laughs> and I'll see if that makes firmer dough. And if it does, I'll show you that in a bit. So I'll be back in a bit. So it's beeped. We'll have a look what they've come out like. Got a plate waiting. Um, just before I do, actually, I will show you that other dough because I've got it sat next to it. There we go. That's a lot better. Now, instead of margarine, I've used butter in there, which was a bit um, a bit harder, but I managed to break that up with the warmth of my hands and mix it. And I just put a drop of milk in. Instead of an egg, I put a drop of whole fat milk in it. And that is a much better dough ball. Do you call them dough? <laughs> I seem to think you don't call them dough. I think I'm ready when I say dough, but biscuit dough, isn't it? You'll all tell me in the comments. Anyway, let's bring it down a little bit more, a bit too high there. Let's have a look. Oh, yes, these look all right. They look nice golden brown. There we go. How do they look? Pretty good. Imagine it's not how they look, is it? It's how they taste. So I'm going to see if I can get them out. And um, bring it a little bit more. See a little bit. There we are. See if we can get them out. It smells beautiful. I can smell the vanilla. They're nice. Really hot though. Now, uh, these are the ones with the coconut. So the other ones I've just done. Um, just plain ones. They look a bit like a cake in the middle. Maybe I've not flattened these enough. <laughs> I think um, they're like little cakes. 
I've never done this recipe before. I'm not quite sure how they're meant to look. They look like little cakes, but it's not what they look like, is it? It's how they taste. So there they go. The light's not very good, is it? There we caught it right. So like I say, they look like little cakes, but imagine that's a self-raising flower. But I'll leave them cool a minute and uh, we can have a taste test then to see what it tastes like. I'm going to roll this dough out. Actually, I might let you watch me roll it out. And you can see how it's going. Let's push that to one side. So let's have a look. Where's my wire? Can you see? Okay. Sort of cracking a little bit and it's a bit melty. I don't know whether it's the warm weather and it's all the butter in it, but this is certainly better than the last one. I think we might need to put a little bit of flour on there. Um, what did I do with the flour? Oh, it's behind. <laughs> put things down, I always forget where I put them. Sprinkle it with my hand this time and not go crazy like I did last time. Then up nearly off the bag on it. So it's rolling nice. It's rolling better than the other ones, not sticking anything like the other one. I can I feel confident enough to roll it a little bit flatter, seeing how they've risen. So I think that'll be enough. There, that's all quite nice. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to cut them out. I'm going to pop them into the air fryer and do them, cook them. By the time I've put them in, there should be one of those cool enough just for me to test. So I'll be back in a moment. Okay, I've done the other batch. The first ones have cooled down. I'll show you what they're like. I've showed you the first ones and they're the plain ones that haven't got the coconut now i was um a bit braver and rolled those flatter so they do look more biscuit sized and i put holes in top of them so they didn't rise well i did in some not in others but it doesn't seem to have made a great deal of difference in how they rose so yeah i think i could have flattened them a bit more but anyway let's taste one not the top of taste one. Well. So that's what one looks like. I'll break it in half. See, it looks a bit like a sponge in the middle rather than a biscuit. Very coconutty. <laughs> Coconut's there, that's nice. It is spongy tasting, but I think I should have rolled it flatter. I would have said I could have poked holes in them, but I think because the dough was so runny, and some of them were waiting to go in, it was starting to melt. So I think um, I wouldn't have been able to have poked holes in, it wouldn't have made no difference. But yeah, they're like cakes with cake cake. I don't if I describe them as a biscuit, I'm not really a biscuit, more like a cake. A bit like a bit like a scone, but it doesn't taste like a scone. But they're nice, they're coconutty. So we'll have a taste of another one. Let's um try one of these. I'll just take a corner off one of these. And that one's falling off. But you can see they're a lot flatter. These are still a bit warm, so they've not cooled off totally yet. But they're not as spongy, they're still a bit spongy, but obviously they're not as thick. Mm. I like them better actually. They're sweeter, which I shouldn't like them better really, because I have to watch sugar, but that does taste sweeter. Now, they were the ones I didn't do with an egg. I put a drop of whole fat milk in them. So out of the two, if I was to say which I preferred, I preferred the plain ones. But 
not that I dislike the others, they're nice and coconutty as well. So they both taste good, both taste very different actually, both taste very different. Um, whether it's just didn't put egg in that one, I don't know, but this one is, the coconut one's more cakey. So yeah, there they are, the coconut and the plain. I like the plain better, but it's sweeter, and so that's the one really that I should be avoiding. Although it's got the same amount of sugar in, I don't know whether the egg has sort of taken away some of the sweetness, I don't know. But they're both nice, and both worth an experiment, and uh, yeah, they're quite good. So that's that for them. I was actually going to show something, I'll just go and fetch my other phone, just a moment. I was looking for my phone. I can't find what I was looking for to show you. I never deleted it, but I can't find it. It was in my messages. Um, and it was, I think it was from Catherine. And she sent me a picture of, um, what I did last week, cobbler. <laughs> she sent me a picture of a cobbler. She'd done a cobbler. Um, was it Gooseberry? If you're watching, Catherine, let me know in the comments down below. It may have been Gooseberry. I'm not 100% sure. I can't remember. And she sent me a picture of the cobbler how hers looked. And that, when I saw it, that was like something I'd got in my mind. It was like going to tack things on top from what I can remember. I was going to show you, she sent me a picture, and I, I was going to show you, but I can't find it on my phone, and I've not deleted it, so I don't know where it is, but... I'll probably find it when I'm not looking for it. But thank you for that, Catherine. I think it was Catherine. And uh, that's exactly what I did have in my mind. So, yeah, I don't know what mine was. I'm sure it was a Canadian recipe I followed. So, I don't know. We perhaps would call it something different over here, you see. So, yeah, I just thought I'd mention that while I remembered, even though I can't find it. <laughs> so, thank you for watching. And um, I'll see you now on the next one. So until then, take care. Bye.